On March 12, shortly before the start of U.S.-South Korea military activities, state-run media KRT said that nuclear-armed North Korea successfully test-fired two strategic cruise missiles from a submarine. In a press release on Monday, March 13, KRT said it had tested the underwater offensive operations of submarine units that are part of North Korea's nuclear deterrent, and that the launch had confirmed the reliability of the system. The military was on high alert, according to the Joint Chiefs of Staff of South Korea, and the nation's intelligence service was analyzing the launch specifics with its American equivalent. On Monday, South Korean and American troops were expected to begin 11 days of joint drills, called Freedom Shield 23 which will be undertaken on a scale not seen since 2017.